Hi guys! Just wanted to share with you a little bit of some of the things that I just learned about some of the pests in my garden. First, I have this little container of radishes that I planted back in March indoors. It was inside for quite some time until I just brought it out uh, just a couple weeks ago. It's mostly radish. There's a couple of very, very teeny tiny lettuce plants, but they're getting pushed out by the radishes, which is fine. I just wanted to see what it would do. There's also one tiny little carrot that my daughter started the seeds for a science project. And if you look at these, they're chopped right off at the stem. I did not do that. I did not take cuttings or anything for salad or anything like that. This happened to be the damage of a baby woodchuck. He actually came up all the way onto the porch because he doesn't know enough to be afraid yet. And he was munching away, enjoying a little snack. So apparently I'm gonna have to put something around this to protect it. All right, so that's the first little one. The second garden pest that I wanna share with you happens to be on my strawberry plants. And if you look, I've got a couple of leaves that have this kind of wrinkled texture. They're, they're not flat and cupped. Here's one that looks perfect and fine. And then when you go to this one, it's a little wrinkled, um, as if it shrunk in the sunlight or something. So it's a little shriveled up. It's not really brown. I guess a little brown at the edges, but not terrible. And then obviously something took a couple chunks out of it. So I started looking, and if you look down into the base, you can see some foam. It looks like a bunch of soap bubbles are in the stem. So I did some research and some looking and found out that that is caused by a spittle bug. It's a little bug that overwinters, lays eggs in the soil and overwinters at the base of a strawberry plant. And when it's warm enough, the eggs hatch and they start eating some of the sap from the stem of your strawberry plants. And as they do that, they create these little bubbles that you see. And that's usually what people notice and how they realize there's a problem. So hidden somewhere underneath there could be a little spittle bug. There's other plants that they infest too. Um, I did do some looking and as far as treatment goes, they don't do very much damage, so I'm not really gonna bother treating them as long as my plants still look so full and healthy. I'll leave it alone, I'll just keep an eye on it. The one thing that you can do as far as treatment is removal. So what they recommend is going in here with a stream of water and just focusing that stream of water right in on the foam and then you can get the foam out of there and then usually it reveals the little bug underneath. That's my second garden pest. The third garden pest that I'm dealing with happens to be on my eggplant and on my ground cherry. If you look, they have all of these tiny little holes, like a shot pattern in them. They're kind of blasted all over, these tinky tiny little holes. With an established plant, it says that they don't really cause too much damage, but on a brand new transplant, it can kill it. So what this is indicative of these tiny little holes in the shot pattern is a flea beetle. The flea beetle eats away at the juices inside the leaves, and that's how you can tell that it's there. I've yet to see any actual little beetles myself. They're pretty small. Plus, I guess they're, oh, look at there. You can see them right there. There's a little flea beetle. Yay. See, it's very tiny. The treatment that I can put on this is food grade diatomaceous earth. It is ground up, um, I think, shells and bone powders. I, I can't remember exactly, but I will find out. And you sprinkle it on top of the leaves. You dust all the leaves and it keeps the bugs from being able to eat it. But the problem is you have to keep reapplying after the rain. But because that looks the way it does in my eggplant, poor little eggplant. Oh, he's so holy. He's a holy eggplant and a holy ground cherry. <laughs> oh, since they look so bad, I will be spreading some on those little guys and hopefully that'll be enough to keep them away. All right, thankfully that's all the garden pests that I'm dealing with right now.
and it's nothing too terribly major except for those little woodchucks. We have to make sure that our fencing is uh, in good shape and there's no holes. So in the strawberries, I am going to just leave them the way that they are and just monitor them and make sure that there's nothing else on there. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.